In this video, I'll be opening up two booster boxes of Alter Genesis, Japanese version. Let's get going. So as mentioned, I'll be opening up two booster boxes of Alter Genesis, and we're also going to see if it was worth it, meaning that the cards today that we pull will hopefully make up for how much I spent. So each booster box of Alter Genesis in Japanese cost me 45 US dollars. Multiply that by two, you have 90 in total. And please keep in mind, this does not include shipping. Uh, more information on this set, this is actually part of Cosmic Eclipse in English. The other two sets, of course, are Dream League and Remix Bout. Of course, we're today we're just going to be focusing on Alter Genesis, which did come out on September 6, 2019, so not too long ago. Thankfully, there's a lot of beautiful cards in this set. I'm personally chasing after any of the alternative artworks, especially Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus. Either that or the Naganadel and Guzzlord. And also lots of beautiful trainer cards. My goodness, there's Lana and Mallow, Red and Blue, Caitlyn and Cynthia, even Guzzlord and Hala. So let's see what we pull today. Before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon openings. Let's get going. So of course, in front of us, we have the beautiful Alter Genesis boxes. And of course, each booster box contains 30, 30 boosters packs and five cards per pack. Also, as I'm opening these boxes, I do want to make a quick disclaimer for those who are wondering. I do not make these videos for investment purposes. I'm not the type of person to give financial advice or investment advice in any way. It's mainly just to answer the simple question, is this worth opening or keeping sealed? Because I know people who collect, people who invest, they have different intentions. So I just hope these videos help you guys. And I know a lot of you actually like this um, video series, hence why I'm still continuing it. So here we have our beautiful booster packs of Ultra Genesis featuring three dimensional Pokemon. We have Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. So you might recognize this from Cosmic Eclipse. And I'm actually just gonna move this to the side so I have a little bit more elbow room. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see. But usually the trick is one card to the front. All right, so we have Golurk. Ooh, we have Rowlet, really cute. Oh, we have a little, uh, little vulture. <laughs> no, eagle. Oh my gosh, that's, a, a, that's the other one. My, my bad. We have Walrein. All right, let's, let's continue. I just really wonder what secret rares are going to be in this box. After looking at the card list, there's so many possibilities. Oh, we have a tag team card. That's a surprise. All right, we have a little ducklet, Azuril, fairy energy. That's already back. We have, oh my god, Como O. Como O holographic. Continuing, so you're not going to get a holographic per pack. That's usually, I believe, like eight card per packs boxes. Usually, you see those in Korean boxes. I feel like they don't really pop up in Japanese too often. But let's see, we get Sandy Cast. We have Chincha. What is that? <gasps> okay, that's not, not a secret where we have Naganadel and Guzzlord. Very nice card here. And I do love the feel of these cards. Actually, this is my first time opening it in Japanese. So hit the like button for the first G GX card. I'm so used to the V and VMAX cards. I'm still adjusting back to the GXs. But let's see, you're usually guaranteed one secret rare per booster box, which is a lot better than the Korean booster boxes, which are not guaranteed one secret rare. Sometimes even two if you're lucky. So let's see what we get. Okay, we have Drampa. Nice, last one there. And the good thing about doing these old Sun and Moon sets, get a little reminder of the Pokemon from Sun and Moon, since we've moved on to Sword and Shield. You guys are excited for the upcoming sets. Now there's even Eevee Heroes announced. I know that's still like three sets down, three months ahead, but very excited. We have Lycanroc there. Love the holographic borders on these cards. No, Jay's, I know uh, my partner Jay's not too big on this set, but I love this set. Diamond and Pearl it's Arrow. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I think maybe now he's warming up to it. So, yeah. oh, we have Braviary, very nice eagle Pokemon. Reminds me of Dronzer from mm. Beyblade, because it looks like an eagle, but it's also, Dronzer's a phoenix, but it has similar like feathering. I know what you mean. If you know what I mean, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. If you know Dronzer, you know. If you know Dronzer, if you know Beyblade, you know. You know, um, I wanted to ask you. Yes. Uh, what you're on the left side, right? I'm on the left side, so maybe we'll pull our secret rare. Usually, from what people have told me, it's on the left side. So we'll so see. Let's we'll see. see. Let's see what we got. If not, I mean, we have another box to go through. So let's see. We have tag whistle. Okay, now the names are coming back to me. There's so many sets I open; it's hard to keep track of everything. But doing my best. <laughs> Some I'd say names. Sometimes it's harder to remember the English names. Yeah, that, that, that's actually <laughs> becoming a thing now because I've been saying a lot of names in Korean or Japanese. You know, of course, if I remember them, I can't read so fast, unfortunately. But we have Decidueye. Very, very nice uh, artwork there, actually. And the nice hollow borders. But let's see. I I have to say, too, with these Sun and Moon boxes, of course, you're not going to get as many pulls as Sword and Shield with the V and V Max cards. But hey, when you do pull one, it's really beautiful. And not going to lie, the artwork in the set is actually very nice, too. Flebebe. And Dragalgi, the dragon poison type Pokemon. I think it's really cool that it's a seahorse. 
But I think they got the poison concept from the fact that sometimes I think horsey as uh, horses, seahorses can be, I think, poisonous. Do they have like poison spines? Kind of like quills um, on the puffer fishes. <laughs> I was going to say quill fish, but I'm like, wait, that's a Pokemon. That's not an animal. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing, right? <laughs> it's based off an animal. I'm close enough. But yeah, I like the tag team cards in this set specifically, and I like how a lot of the tag team sets have a lot of cool alternative artworks. But let's see, what, what is that in the back? Oh, okay! There's our secret rare. We got Volcarona. I didn't even expect this one. I saw it in the card list. But hey, there's our secret rare. Please well, hit the like button. you know what the main button. thing to remember is? Yes. Left side. Oh yeah, it was the left side. Thank you for pointing that out, Karim. I really <laughs> appreciate that. Because that, oh, that's why I asked you in the beginning, like, wait, which side did you start on? Yeah, left side. There you go, confirmed. And I'm, I'm trying my best to also to remember to put the piles on their right, on their correct sides. I see. Yeah. Not the right side on the left side, and vice versa. Ooh, we got a little something shiny in the back, Cosmo M. Ooh, and Sol Galeo. This is very nice. First time pulling it in Japanese too, so very So we'll cool. see what the next box says too, if it's the left or the right side. Yeah, oh my god, there's so many awesome like cards in this set, I want to get more now. Because usually you only get one secret rare, at least in the Sun and Moon era, except maybe Dream Leagues. I did, I did pull two from that, that's why I'm saying that as an exception. Just from personal experience, Armaldo. Oh wow, it's been a while since I've seen that. From the fossil Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire. Claw Fossil, look at that. <laughs> I'm the type of person to remember very random things when it comes to Pokemon. I can't remember everything. Is that a Beast Stone, I believe? Apom, Senkern. Oh, look at that. Cosmo looks so cute and happy there. Oh, we got Black Kyurem. Yeah, Black Kyurem. Super cool. From Neck and White. When Kyurem just takes over Reshiram and Zekrom's body, it's so interesting. They just fuse. But then again, Necrozma does the same thing, doesn't it? So, not too weird, I guess. But it's so cool. They featured a whole booster box on Gen 4 Legendaries. Showing appreciation to the previous gems, which is nice. Okay, we got Palo Sand with Dr. Uyama artwork. Very nice there. All right, halfway done with this first box. Let's Time see what else. Oh, yeah, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but again, I've only opened this box in Korean, so it's actually pretty refreshing opening it in Japanese. We got a little ducklet, really cool. Another little birdie. And Sunflora, very, very vibrant artwork there. I can never remember the first uh, first or second evolutions. I always remember like the last evolutions of Pokemon. I remember Braviary, but I don't remember its little baby form. It'll probably come up after this video. That usually happens. I'm like, why didn't I remember it? We have Heliolisk. We have Larvesta. We have little Armadle's baby. We have Eevee. Oh, and Lunala. Very nice holographic there. Oh, it's called a North. That's the one. Baby Armado is a North. See, it comes to me later on. <laughs> My brain is weird. Maybe yours is too. I don't know. That's me. Continuing. All right. Actually, this is a pretty good sized uh, tag team set too for 119 cards. Actually, I mean Japanese sets because some sometimes there are like 50 or 60 cards, including the Seeker Rares. So this gives a lot of variety, which is nice. And I'd say with the tag team packs, they don't have the colored tabs. It's usually just silver now, which is interesting. Um, when tag team first came out, honestly, I wasn't too keen on it, but now I'm like, you know what? They're actually pretty fun. And I actually have a lot of appreciation for them. Hot Cosmog. Ooh, and Ultra and Necrozma. It's so bright. I know it's like embodying light. The whole thing is just light coming out of it. So when you can actually see it for what it is, it's like, whoa, it's a crazy looking Pokemon. Alrighty, so we're flying through box one. Well, we already got the Seeker Rare. I think that was like the most anxious part. It's like, what's the, what's the Seeker Rare in this box? And I was like, okay. Now we're just going to cruise on through and see what the other GX is. Uh, also, one thing I forgot to mention, Flygon is in this set. And Flygon is actually one of my favorite Dragon-type Pokemon. It was very it was very attached to my party, or maybe I was more attached to it in my party. <laughs> in Ruby and Sapphire, I always had it. Like it more than Salomon, surprisingly. I know, I always am a big fan of Dragon Pokemon, but I really love Flygon. Ooh, Florges. Very cool to see what the holographic board. Sorry guys for the siren, I do live in New York City. It is what it is. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening lately on the news, but please stay safe, everyone out there. And I'm okay. <laughs> I'm staying at home. I'm staying safe, so do not worry. But yeah, please, I, I apologize for the noise. It happens. Snow Runt and Ampy Bomb. At a south soundproof house, that would be ideal, wouldn't it, <laughs> cameraman? That's the dream. All right, I'll work towards that one day. But for now, we're just going to open packs for fun, and you'll just have to bear the interesting sounds in the background. <laughs> we have Rowlet, Apom, Sandgast, and oh, we have Oracorio. I never actually pulled this one yet in Japanese. Different one. All right, hit the like button for another GX card. Moving on to the next pack. I think there's like seven packs left. I can't tell if there are packs hiding under these five I see in front of me. Wait, let's see. 
one to the front okay we have lantern very nice lantern card there actually azuro we have golette yeah golette helioptile oh and guzma and hollow there's a nice tag team trainer to that that's the nice thing about these tag team sets there's even tag team trainers my favorite will have to be cynthia and caitlin just because i'm a big fan of cynthia i like the fact that she uh, trains a Garchomp, really has an awesome Garchomp in her party. That's also one of my other favorite Dragon type Pokemon. I believe from Gen 4. And we have Como O. I'm gonna start a new pile. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna start a new pile because this is still box one. All right, we have five packs left, I believe. And then we're on to the next box. I really want that statue or alternative artwork of Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus. That's gonna look super cool. All right, we have little Rockruff, Litlia. Oh, Pyroar. Pyro. Pyro Roar. <laughs> that's how I can remember that one. I think that's the best way to remember all these different Pokemon names. You have to associate it with why it was named that way or just other random facts. All right, we have Woobat, Flabebe, Celio, and a trainer card that's holographic. It looks like an iPad. <laughs> all right, but it's really cool. I like trainer hollows because you don't really see them too often, especially with the hollow borders. All right, third to last pack from this first box. And of course, towards the very end, I'll tally up the prices just to show you guys if it really was worth buying uh, and to open. Because you can also buy it and keep it sealed, you know, if you're that type of person, just to have it, you know, stashed away, let it sit, but either open it later on or do whatever else you want to do with it. Or even just put it on your wall. It's a nice decoration too. Even if you open it, they're, they're a really great uh, decoration item. You can look at the back of my wall. Those boxes are all open. I know some people ask me if they're sealed. They're actually not. It's just the history of Crystal Collects behind you or behind me. Um, and last pack, by the way, of this first box. But let's see how the second box does because we have one more. And let's see if there's even one more pull in this. Okay, we've got Swoop. Oh, we got Eevee. Really cute Eevee. Celia looking like it's having a grand time. Okay, full oh, we got a nice GX. Okay, so that's GX number three. We got Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus. I just need this either in full art form or that alternative artwork. All right, so that's box one. We're going to move all the scrapings to the side. Sayonara. <laughs> now on to the second box. So we're going to crack this one open. Learn to just slice this part now. Things a ton easier. All righty. But yes, if you have a favorite card from the set or any of the alternative artworks, comment below. I like to know people's favorites because I know we all have different favorite Pokemon. We're all different people, you know what I mean? We can't all just love Charizard. I know there's other favorites out there. Alrighty. So on to the next box. Wait, switch. Switch. Oh. Yeah. Alright. On to the next box. Sorry, thank you, Caramel Man, for that. <laughs> Want to make sure we're putting the left side so we can see the secret rare. If it is also on the left side as well. Continuing though. So 30 more packs. Oh my god, are we gonna get it on the first pack? Because I think I saw something. All right, we have little cricket, not cricket tune, the little, the other one before it. <laughs> what on earth? We got full Corona and the rainbow form in these two boxes. All right, I'll take it. Hey, that's actually kind of cool. The texturing on the back is pretty awesome. And you know what's funny too? It's on the left Luckily, side. Luckily, I said in time. Switch, switch the vert. Left, left side. Thank you, cameraman. He saved me today. <laughs> there we so, go. There you go. Two, two in a row. Left two side. Two in a row. Will I open the rest of the packs? Yes, I will. Because we still have to see if it's worth it. All right. Let me actually get this out of the way. <laughs> One to the front. All right. So that's our second secret rare. Okay. We got Glalie. Got San Alolan Sandshrew. Jangmu. And we have Tag Whistle. And There's so many Flabebe artwork I've noticed. I'm like, wow. And there's a beautiful floor just hollow that we did see. Uh, no, no legendary secret rare, but it's okay. We will continue. <laughs> That'll encourage me probably to get more boxes of this because there's too many beautiful artworks to pass up. We have Como O there. And of course, I'll show you guys all the pulls at the very end. So stay tuned because I also add up all the prices of how much the cards cost. You know, I don't, again, me as a person, I don't really focus on the value of cards. I just focus on it because I like it. And also because the artwork is nice or it's just memorable. You know what I mean? Okay, we have Golette and Dragalgi. Dragalgi? Let me know how you say it. <laughs> it sounds like algae, so I just say Dragalgi. But it sounds a little bit excessive in my opinion. Continuing though. Oh, there's a really cute Rowlet in this pack. We have Beastone, Yukimori Rowlet. I, I definitely started out with that starter. It was really cute. We have Chinchow. Ooh, and another holographic trainer card that looks like an iPad. Continuing on the left side. I'm trying my best. As long as I don't get distracted, I focus on one side at a time. Alrighty. One to the front. 
Uh, sandcastle, Palisades Fields, another Sandcastle, <laughs> Sandy Guest. And we have Alone the Ninetales, very, very nice. I like the contrast between the blue and the pink. Beautiful card. Fairy and Ice type, that's a very unique type combination. Continuing, however. Hmm, what other GXs will we get? I feel like we'll probably get different ones, we'll see. Still haven't gotten Flygon, actually. I'm just trying to keep in mind which ones I haven't pulled yet. Let's see. But yeah, Flygon full art would have also been super cool. But I will not argue with Volcarona. That's technically a, a legendary Pokemon, isn't it? That's like fire and bug. But yeah, it's supposed to be super strong. Oh, Golette and Golurk in the same pack. I always like it when that happens, the same evolutions. And we got another Lunala. It's so much more vibrant compared to the Korean version. I'll have to say. But yeah, Sun and Moon. Super fun. I'd say towards the end is when the Sun and Moon era really got super fun. Now I can really see why Tag Team was like so like hyped up. And I think the set after this one was Tag Team All-Star, so this was the second la second to last set in the Sun and Moon era. And then we move on to Sword and Shield. But yes. And I'd say too, uh, Alter Genesis became a bit more available towards like the end of last year because it did get a reprint. And there was a nice um, Dialga, Palkia, and Arceus GX promo that actually came out. Of course, I didn't get it at the time. Oh, we got a new one! We got Jigglypuff and Lopunny. I never pulled this card in general, so that's actually really cute. Very, very vibrant. Hit the like button for this card. You can for me beautiful beautiful again tag team cards like in the beginning you know didn't really catch my attention too much but now i think they're really cute they should do more theme cards like this in my opinion continuing if not more alternative art i, I know they're spoiling us already with um ichigeki rengeki master and i think all the here me, me i'm saying so many different different pokemon in one word eevee heroes will have some alternative artworks as well so very excited for that Alrighty, continuing. We're already halfway done with the second box. I know <laughs> the secret rare came up already on the first pack, which rarely happens. Hey, we have so Ultra what, Necrozma. For them GX cards? Exactly, because it, I mean, it's not going to happen with Japanese cards, but you know, those, those instances when we open Korean boxes and nothing comes up. You know, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, we got red and blue. Really cool tag team. I actually pulled that in Korean, the full art version. So that was very cool to see. And the thing is, again, Korean boxes never guarantee secret rares, so that was definitely a big blessing. All right, after this pack, halfway done. I definitely feel like with these Is It Worth It videos, we definitely go go through them a bit faster than usual now. Swirlix, Rockruff, looking comfy. Teddy yeah, I noticed Ursa. that. You're getting through them pretty quick. Oh, and look at that. It's hinting at the Arceus statue with the Teddy Ursa looking really scared. It's afraid of the I god Pokemon. So excited. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I feel about Pokemon, and this is why like, I don't purely focus on investment like if you really love the franchise like you gotta love it for what it is too it's not all about money got cray dilly got senkern got the rare fossil got snow rent and swana Ooh, very nice artwork of swana very nice there actually is a water type there not a normal type like in other sets Alrighty, still got loads more i think 13 packs after this pack these packs go quick because there's only five cards less bulk which is great that's why i like japanese cards too sandy guest and oh cherish ball there's a very nice actually I, no, the gold card that's in miracle twin but that's a nice holographic card in my opinion i think there was a, a cherish ball promo for tag team all stars during that uh gx reboot reprint that's what they called it in japan so that was really cool but i think the the promo for these three were much better these three dudes on the pack Continuing. These three dudes? Yeah, these three dudes. <laughs> these three dudes. <laughs> you, I like that. you know these what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's just chilling with, you know, the god Pokemon, you know what I mean? Trap Pinch. Chin Chow. One of the dry Oh we got Flygon! Very happy about that. I love Flygon. I just think it's cute. It has like these eye protector things that are like goggles because it's always in a sandstorm in the desert. Well maybe not always in a sandstorm, but you get what I mean. In case a sandstorm builds up. That's what I liked about Ruby and Sapphire. I was like, wait, I can't get through the sandstorm. I need to get goggles. <laughs> I won't forget that. Just like one of the random like moments in Pokemon. All right, Litleo. And a beast stone. It looks like a volcanic rock. It looks like obsidian. Continuing. But yes. What is your favorite pack art? I'd like to know because that's the one thing I like about opening Japanese sets. They always have really gorgeous pack arts. For me, it's uh, Pentom Gate. Oh, Phantom Gate. Nice. Very nice choice. So that's the Korean version of Phantom Gate, which is old. It's from the X and Y era. 2014. We actually have never opened it, but we do have a sealed box because this one over here really loves Gengar. What's Gengar? Oh, yeah. Pentom. Thank you. Oh, yeah, because you forgot the English names. Look at that. <laughs> Caitlin and Cynthia. Cosmog. That's another Cosmog photo. photo. 
card. <laughs> I'm thinking of K-pop photo cards. No, they're cards. Oh, yeah. They're just cards. <laughs> Continuing. Alrighty. Let's see what we get in this one. So we got, what, two GXs so far? Three GXs? No, just, I think just two. We still have a lot more packs left, so we'll probably pull one more. We have Sogaleo. Again, the pulls will not be as frequent as the Sword and Shield era. I can't wait till more sets come out so I can do more Is It Worth It for Sword and Shield boxes. And as always, please comment below if there's any particular sets you want me to open. I am considering doing Astonishing Voltackle. I know someone asked that before, so do not worry, that's in the works. Um, and I think there's a reprint coming out in March too, so that, that's going to be very convenient because boxes are a little bit hard to get right now. The demand for Japanese boxes is kind of getting up there now because English products are hard to get, people are gearing towards other language boxes. I don't blame you, it's hard. It's really tough. Oh, another Oracorio! Alright, there's our other GX. By sleeving that one up. Continue, I think we have... Yep, now I can actually see we have like five more packs left. Okay. We went through these really, really quickly, not gonna lie. One to the front. We have Vibrava. To get Amaro is super cute sitting on a little trunk. Lyleep. Flebebe, Mallow, and Lana. There is a lovely trainer card to that too. Of both of them. They're like best friends in the game. It's really cute. Continuing. What is in the next pack? Probably not anything. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we got a Sylveon. I, just, I probably wasn't paying attention. I, I probably pulled that already, but that is an adorable card. All right. A Norith and Alolan Ninetales. Very nice. Very, very nice. Three packs left. Oh my goodness. Wonder if we're lucky enough to pull something. No, probably just a hollow at this point because we did just pull a hollow. Alright, let's see. We have Dar Tricks, Nether Flabebe, and Palo Sand. Second to last pack. Please give me something nice. See, that's a thing too. When you pull a secret rare, like from the get-go, then the whole box is like, oh, okay, let's just <laughs> let's just fly through the <laughs> MP bomb, A Pomp, Sun Card. But there's a lot of beautiful artwork to appreciate. I can't I can't just say that. Armaldo. Alright, last pack. At least a hollow, maybe? Maybe. But yeah, honestly, if you ever like hope to pull two secret rares, it rarely happens. I would just honestly never expect it. Let it be a surprise. That's the best way to go about it. Snow and a little Pikachu snowman. Really cute there. Helioptile in some mode of electricity. Ooh, Buzzwool. I don't think I've seen this yet. That actually looks kind of cool. All right, so there are the two boxes. Be right back with you all. All right, so as usual, I separated the pulls into their two separate boxes, so you have a better idea of how many pulls each box has. So of course, we'll include the hollows. We have all these beautiful cards with the nice borders, of course. Florges, Ultra Necrozma, Lunala, lots of legendaries, not just from uh, Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, Sun and Moon, and Decidueye, very nice, Alola Nine Tails. And of course, at the very, very end, after I show you guys the polls, I'll tally all the prices of the cards together. So we have Oricorio in the first box, Naganadel and Guzzlord GX, Dialga Palkia and Arceus GX, very good for decks, by the way, if you didn't know, and Volcarona GX full art. So this is our secret rare from box one. I'll just place it right there. And moving on to box number two. I hope you like this arrangement so you guys can see everything. So more repeats. Of course, some cards will be different since, of course, I, I wouldn't expect to pull all the hollows from one booster box. There you go. Cherish Ball. That's something new. Florges, Ultra Necrozma, and of course, some repeats. The set isn't too big compared to English sets. Oh, we got Buzzwool. Very nice. We got Little Nine Ninetales, another Oracorio, so that's one repeat. Flygon, very happy about that. I wanted to at least see it once. Jigglypuff and Low Punny, these two are so adorable together. And also, who would have guessed that we would have pulled the Rainbow Rare of Volcarona? So we have both of them. So, box one, box two, we got their two forms of secret rare. So, I hope you found this video useful and also enjoyable. It is a really cool set. Kind of wish I pulled the legendaries, but it's okay. I'll probably open more in the future. So, if you enjoyed this opening, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi language Pokemon openings. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.